We've heard about the making of a Himalayan 650 is in the pipeline. But before we can actually get that bike, here's how a parallel twin Himalayan will sound. This is made by the folks at Auto Engina, who are a custom house builder in Pune. And this is their creation, the Himalayan 822. Before I get into all of the details, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Zig Wheels. And here are its details. Now let's just start with the biggest talking point about this bike. It's 822cc motor. Now this isn't two Himalayan motors just clubbed together. It's just actually one motor which was cut into half and the spacer was added in the middle to accommodate the two 411 pistons. Now as a result, they don't have the official power figures for this bike as yet because they're not dyno tested. But they say it should roughly be between 45 and 50 PS. Torque is supposed to be incredibly high. A cool bit here about this bike is that it's running the oil cooler from the interceptor so that it can provide enough cooling to for this parallel twin motor. Now this isn't a BS6 unit, it is actually a BS3 unit so you'll find twin carbs here, one and two over there. It still remains a 5-speed gearbox. But the folks say that there is so much talk available here in its second gear that it is respective to maybe the third or the fourth gear on the 411 motor. But in order to accommodate this larger engine, the auto engineer folks have had to modify the chassis quite a bit. Now this is the same single down tube split chassis that you find on the Himalayan, but it is wider in order to accommodate the engine. And since the engine is heavier, they've also had to fortify the chassis. Now, how heavy is this bike? The standard Himalayan is around 199 kilos. They've not weighed this, but it should be around 250. Not only has the chassis been modified, but also the subframe. So they've raised it by around an inch and a half. And because it is so wide over here, I am tiptoeing on this bike, even though I am 5 feet 10 inches tall. The riding posture on the other hand is very upright. It's not like you're in the bike like on the Himalayan, but it's quite nice and commanding. So you get a good sense of the road ahead. Not only has the chassis been modified, but also the suspension. Now this is the same telescopic fork that you'll find on the Himalayan, but the shims inside as well as the fork floor used over here has been changed to in order to accommodate the extra hair. Plus the brakes. Now these are from the KTM 390, both the disc as well as the caliper and you get two of them. One over there and one over here. So it should stop better than the standard Himalayan. But one thing you got to remember here is it doesn't get ABS. As you can see, this is no ordinary looking Himalayan. The body kit over here has been designed by Auto Log. Now these are the guys who have been providing us custom kits for various other bikes like the Continental GT as well as the KTM. They have taken their time to make it look like a 90s retro adventure motorcycle. Hence you get this circular headlamp from a certain Swedish bike. Do let me know which one in the comments below. But nevertheless you get this short beak here, this cool panel over here as well as redefined side panels. Now Autolog has said that even though they have designed this for this bike, they will be providing custom kits for the standard Himalayan as well. If you are a standard Himalayan owner, would you want one from Autolog? Do let me know in the comments. Even though this is a one-off custom build, Auto Engineer is considering making around 10 to 15 units. This will not be road legal and you want to know the price of this bike, it's going to be 10 lakh rupees, making it the most expensive Himalayan ever built, even by Royal Enfield. So what do you think about the Himalayan 822? Do let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to Zigwheels, hit that bell notification icon. Follow us on our Instagram channels because we will be doing a lot more cool content from IBW 2022. And in case if you catch us out here, don't forget to come and say hi.